Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Ramey. I am the play-by-play -play voice of the Bruins baseball team, along with my broadcast partner, Jim yeah. Wilhelm. We are gathered here on this glorious day beneath a Bruin blue sky to celebrate UCLA's 109th NCAA championship. These remarkable Bruins of 2013 are UCLA's first national championship baseball team. There is championship merchandise available on the concourses here so you can take the memory of this remarkable team with you home today and for the rest of your life. These Bruins have just completed a stretch of extended dominance, sweeping their way through the entire postseason without a loss and ending their championship run on an 11 game winning streak. We love these Bruins in the words of my partner Tim Wilhelm, not because of what they did, but how they did it. Wow. They repeatedly displayed the finest qualities that we celebrate in the human spirit. Qualities like grace, Christoph Bono's mad dash to the fence, cradling the mammoth line drive in deepest left field, and the Bruins' triumph over North Carolina State. Wow. Human qualities like steadfastness and resilience and resiliency. In four different postseason wins, the Bruins fell behind only to rally and to triumph. We see in these 2013 Bruins magnificent human traits such as courage, displayed by Eric Folia, seemingly destined for a spectacular crash into an unfamiliar and unforgiving right field wall, only to snare Mississippi State's Nick Amorati's line drive to keep the Bruins safe. We might talk about it. And we see in these Bruins wisdom and belief, the wisdom practiced and preached, and the belief earned of the players by the Bruins' outstanding coaching staff. Right. We love the Bruins because what the world saw as a flaw, an unremarkable team batting average, they saw it as an identity, and they drew strength from it. Grace under pressure, steadfastness and resiliency, courage, wisdom, and belief. These Bruins are an inspiring bunch. They play inspiring baseball, and they are the national champions. pleasure to call to the podium the greatest baseball coach in all of the land, John Savage. Let's uh, give it up for those 2013 Gary. Bruins right now. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, it's a uh, it's great to see everybody on a short notice, but I know you watched every pitch. Yeah. Uh, you watch every moment, and uh, what can you say? This was a dream team, uh, guys. That uh, they didn't think a lot of people didn't think we could do it, but at the end of the day, we did it. And I heard the word luck. It was funny. I was in a press conference, and I heard the word luck out of a Mississippi State. Uh, almost like uh, they had a little luck, and, and, and it caught my attention. And uh, I thought, I, I put these words, good luck is a direct result in hard work, good preparation, and great execution. That's what this team does. Anybody that thinks it's luck doesn't know the game. That's right. I'd like to introduce like the most important people that we have here, and that's the players. Yep. 
I'd like to introduce the freshman class, and they can come out as a group. Uh, Jeff Turley, freshman from Long Beach Poly. He's an outfielder. Jeff. Chase Raiden, who's out playing, he's already up in Bellingham, Washington. He got a win a couple nights ago. Uh, he did not go on a trip, but he's uh, he's a uh, redshirt freshman out of modern day. Tucker Forbes is in the same boat. He's out pitching already out back in New England. Tucker's from Pebble Beach, Stevenson School. Uh, Keenan Perez at Howells. Keenan, where's Keenan? Santa Monica boy. left-handed pitcher, Camarillo. Yeah. Nick Kern, right-handed pitcher, Brea Lindo High School. Yeah. Daryl Miller Jr., freshman, Norma Linda, Servite High School. Yeah. Ty Moore had one of the biggest hits back in Omaha against LSU. Yeah. Off the bench for modern day. off the bench, had a big pinch hit walk in Omaha from Huntington Beach High School, Brett Yorabi, Trent Shatterton, we'll all remember his at bat, the line drive uh, with the bases loaded, unbelievable bat, a nine pitch at bat, Cody Poteet, our Tuesday starter all season, had a remarkable year out of uh, Bonita, California, Christian High School. Brilliant, one of our reliable relievers. Tyler Scott, redshirt freshman from Novato, Brent Catholic High School. Tyler Scott. Jacob Barrett, who will always remember against the Washington series. First appearance, came in with the base loaded, struck the guy out from San Dimas. Jacob Barrett. Caught uh, uh, some games after Shane. He's a redshirt freshman from Beckman. He caught James Caprillion in high school. Justin Hazard. One of the most famous catches of all time in UCLA baseball history in left field to, to save a game. Christoph Bono. entire freshman class right there. Our sophomore class, Chris Keck from Pleasanton, Amador Valley. That's a big hit to the postseason, Chris Keck. Eric Felia. Eric is already going, he's already at Cape Cod. You can, you can stand up if you like, Eric. Cape Cod uh, after oh, after wow. Omaha from Huntington Beach Edison High School. Woo! Kevin Kramer, a great third baseman. Our converted catcher that had a remarkable season that uh, took all those balls off the, his mask in Game One against wow. Mississippi State and God. played terrific all season long. Shane Steele. San Diego to get us to the Super Regional, and then he came off 19 days of rest against North Carolina, one of the most offensive teams in the country, Grant Watson. The next sophomore, he might be warming up in the bullpen right now, but he's not. He had 100 appearances, the best closer in the country, the most saves in the history of the NCAA, single season David Bird.
Montana that came in some tight situations this season. Max Shu out of Fresno, Edison High School. Max Shu. He's a walker slower on the slowest walker on the team. Let's give it up for our sophomore class. Guys, you see right there, you guys will be rooting for in 2014. So it should be a lot of fun. Our elder, elder statesman guys, the guys that had remarkable years. Let's give it up for our left fielder, Brenton Allen from Gar High School. The eighth inning guy who had a remarkable year coming out of the bullpen, sixth round pick. Brenton was drafted by the Washington Nationals in the 20th round. Uh, the next guy, sixth round pick out of Irvine, California, Northwood High School. Remarkable year. Let's give it up for Mr. Zach Weiss. Drafted player who had a very good year, drafted by the Florida Marlins. Uh, he, had, he was injured most of the year. He came back and gave us a great uplift. The second half of the season was our DH. Played a little second base at a Van Nuys Crespi High School. Kevin Williams. The most valuable player in the regionals had a remarkable year. Uh, this season at first base, had a big, big postseason, uh, finished very strong for us, played great defense out of Reno High School, Patrick Gallagher. Redshirt Jr., this guy uh, helped us the entire season, uh, helped us in the bullpen. Uh, can't thank him enough. I know the pitchers appreciate him, all the hard work. He's one of the reasons why we made it. He's one of the reasons why we did it. Aaron Weimer. Another junior, phenomenal center fielder that replaced Bo Amaral the last two years. He made one error, and it was a throwing error, and it was, wasn't much of an error. He had a remarkable year in center field. That's right. He led off for us the entire season out of San Diego, Granite Hills, California. Woo! one of our captains. Uh, the next player, I think one of the best shortstops in UCLA baseball Woo! history. Out of Valencia Hart High School, Patrick Valenka. Woo! Next guy. Uh, our starting Saturday pitcher won 13 games, 14 games, remarkable season. Won the biggest game in, in UCLA baseball history with the national championship, Mr. Nick Vandertie. player back in Omaha, had a remarkable three-year career, as many of these guys did, was a three-time All-Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year, uh, pitched with a heavy, heavy heart against Fullerton, everybody saw that, very emotional time, uh, pitched uh, incredibly well the entire career, his entire career, especially in the postseason, out of Upland, California, Glendore High School, Adam Plutko! Mr. Blake up, Mr. Vanderdyke, and Mr. Plutko were all captains along with this next guy. Was a hard sold out bullpen. He was injured the last half of the season. Uh, had the highest G and won the Elite 89, which is the most prolific award anybody, any student athlete can achieve. 
in the NCAAs is the first time in school history that any UCLA athlete has won this. Uh, the 89 is the, 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 the number of cha national championships that the NCAA has each year. Remarkable student athlete, remarkable person, great captain out of Newark Memorial, Ryan Dieter. A remarkable four-year career, played the most postseason games in UCLA baseball history, had the most hits in postseason history, had the most wins in, in postseason history, and is the only player in UCLA baseball history that gone to Omaha three times. Medora, Medora High School, Mr. Cody Regis. lives and, and uh, you know has a very uh, immediate impact in our program. I'd like to give it up for the three coaches, Mr. Rex Peters, Mr. Coach Bruce, and Coach Jake Silverman. That was a big part of our success over the last four seasons. Yeah. Mr. Ken Revisa. Our director of baseball operations, Mr. Seth Boyer. Our managers that do all the work every single day in the clubhouse, out on the field, Mr. Nate Corkill, Will Hughes, Derek Averson, Paul Ishiyama, and Kate Powers. Trainer, head athletic trainer for baseball, Mr. Carl Stockland, Alana Sevilturo, Justin Oka, and Alan Wong. Our strength coach was with us back in Omaha, did a great job, Mr. Bobby Andrade. He's done a remarkable job. He's got this ballpark looking the way it should look during the season, yeah. during the postseason. Beautiful. Uh, very dedicated to his work, Mr. Chris Robo. Yeah. Other people I'd like to recognize, certainly Mr. Mike Leary, our sports information director, Ralph Irvin, uh, all the videos that you watch, Ralph produces, Paul Abramson, yeah. our ticket guy, our two great Radio guys have done a phenomenal job the last several years. A big part of our program, Mr. John Ramey and Mr. Tim Wilhelm. That's a great job. Kevin Chen is our academic baseball uh, coordinator. Kevin's done a great. I know he's got one fan out there, so that's nice. Um, Rick Coy, who also helps our guys, Aldine Bowski, who does all our travel. Uh, hopefully, Aldine's here. Thank you, Aldine. Yeah, I'd like to introduce uh, Dan Guerrero's on a flight to Italy, but uh, we would definitely would not be here without Dan and his support of UCLA athletics and for sure UCLA baseball. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Dan Guerrero. Also, like to uh, introduce two senior associate athletic directors, 
that put this together and, and, and have, have been a big part of our program, Mr. Ken Weiner and Mr. John Jens. I'd like to also talk a little bit about Jack and Rodine Gifford. They, we, we would never be in a position, this program would never be in position. I'm sure Gary could probably say more about it, but uh, since I've been here for nine years, they've been uh, so important to our Bruin baseball family. They have helped with uh, the great addition of the, of the hitting facility, the scoreboard, uh, you know, the seats, uh, you name it. They, 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 they give every year to the baseball program, the foundation, and I'd just like to recognize the entire Gifford family, but especially Jack and Rodine Gifford. I also like to recognize some special guests that are currently down here. Uh, th this guy it, it really uh, established his program. Uh, was here for 30 seasons. Uh, is one of the most well liked people in the game of college baseball, uh, one of the most respected guys in the game of college baseball. Uh, his players loved him, uh, the school loved him, uh, and it was just an honor to follow in his footsteps. Mr. Mr. Gary Adams. Jeff's here somewhere. I'd like to give a round of applause to Mr. Jeff Morad. <laughs> Next thing I'd like to do is bring up a few players. Uh, you want to hear from the players. Uh, they're the, like I said, they're the most important pieces of this team and this, this program. Uh, so I'd like to call up Mr. Pat Vileka uh, and Mr. Adam Plepko from Mr. John Ramey. Cool. And then we can get on with the with the program. Thank you very much. Go Bruins. Stay at UCLA, Savage! Yes! <laughs> Adam Pletko, what are you most proud of this team? Uh, this team uh, we came together, and uh, it was a hard road for us. And everyone out, out there doubted us, except for, obviously, these great fans here. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was internal. It was everyone uh, being a collective unit. And, uh, you know, I'm so glad to bring back 109. There's a ton of student athletes up here, and, and all you guys know that same feeling. So uh, I'm just glad to bring back 109 for to, uh, back to Westwood. Pat Valenka, you said before the national championship finals that you might visit Starkville, Mississippi in the off season. Will you still, and what will you do? No, uh, I don't think I'll visit Starkville. There's no uh, I'd like to stay in Westwood, you know, all the fans here supporting us all year. Couldn't do without you. You know, so proud of this team. We've come so far. No one thought we could do this. And it's an amazing feeling to come back and Bring back 109. Very good. I'd like to introduce now the Los Angeles Dodgers career home run leader and a great Bruin, Eric Carroll. out here today and it's an honor to be amongst uh, these guys, coaches, and I can't say as an alum, 
you don't know how proud I am wow. of these guys right now. <laughs> to win a national championship, to do something that that so many of us were never able to do playing baseball here at UCLA. I was able to, right now I, I think you probably don't understand what you've accomplished. It's, hey, you know what, I'm, we've won, we're the national champs, but it's so much more than that. Wow. Like I said, just sitting on the couch the other day with my two boys watching you guys celebrate, that, that means a lot to me. What, what you guys have done as far as bond you've created again right now hey you know what go out and you know some of you probably go out and have a picture or something and talk about it yeah sweet and all that but what you guys have done is, is formed a bond for a lifetime that none of us will ever know sure we as fans or, or, or people on the outside we can share in the, in the victory and walk around and say yeah UCLA yeah take that we won but I think it's the experience, the journey that you guys, what you have gone through from, you know, day one of getting recruited by Coach Savage, coming out here, listening, going through the practices, Amen. probably leaving here many times going, you got to be kidding me, what did I get myself into? All that sort of stuff. Wow. It's all, it, it, it all paid off. And you guys will be able to share those memories as you get older, as go on you some of you be playing pro ball you guys will be successful in your own endeavors you have families and like I said that's something that as a former player here never able to have never able to have and I think it's funny the other day I, I was doing a, a Dodger Padre game a national telecast and we got to talking about the Dodgers and the Angels and the brand of baseball that's being played in LA and I made the comment on, on air I said the best baseball being played in L.A. right now is by the UCLA Bruins. Yeah. Woo. I think when I, when I look at this group, too, it, it, you know, talking about them, I, we, did a, we did a show the other day, and, you know, you look at the, the, the two categories, or the only offensive categories they were in the top 50 and were, were walks and and sacrifice bunts. You look at the fact that there was that nobody drafted higher than the sixth round, and I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with that. No. I'm living proof of that. There you go. <laughs> but this group team, you, you can't, there's, there's not a better definition. There's not a better definition of right. sacrifice for one another. Again, that all goes back to, to John Savage and, and what he's been able to do since he took over for Gary in 2005. And I, mean, I know there's going to be a lot of schools that are going to come court and you've got to listen to everything, but gosh darn it, I'm, I hope you stay, and I am yeah. awfully proud to say that you're the Jeans are probably treating them real nice in this sun right now, so I'll cut this off here quick. Again, I want to I want to thank you guys. I want to congratulate you guys. And again, awesome job, UCLA Bruins national champs. I would like to call to the stage the reported career record holder among Pac-12 administrators in baseball games attended, UCLA's Vice Chancellor for External Affairs.